after 17 years behind bars, 70-year-old Viktor Mukic, known as the Skopinski Maniac, was released from a colony in the Saratov region. Listen to the story about a pervert who was released from the colony. Maniacs live among us and everyone should know the psychological portrait of a criminal. Perhaps someday it will help save someone's life. In 2000, in the city of Skopin, Ryazan region, a 50-year-old man volunteered to give a ride to the house of 14-year-old Katya Martinova and 17-year-old Lina Samakina. The girl spent the next 1296 days in a bunker dug by Miss Sex Slaves. Surprisingly, after the capture of Markak and the release of his captives, there were those who blamed the victims of the maniac for the incident. In response to this, Ekaterina Martinova wrote a book in which she talked about the terrible years spent underground in captivity by a pedophile. This story began on September 30, 2000, then in Ryazan the holiday faith, hope, love was celebrated with a solemn evening, music and fireworks. On the day, a phone call rang in Katya Martinova's apartment, Lina Samakina wanted to invite her friend, Katya's older sister, to the holiday. But that house was not, and Katya gladly volunteered to replace her sister, for her it was the first out of school party in her life. Realizing that her mother would be against it, the girl said that she was just going for a walk. As the investigation will later establish, at the same time Victor Mokic, together with his accomplice Elena Badukina, was circling around Ryazan in a car. At some point, they saw Katya and Lina walking from the bus stop, and Mokic slowed down. And Badukina approached the girls and offered to take them home. To do this, she pretended to be a man. This was not the first time for Mokov's girlfriend, according to the recollections of acquaintances, Badukina herself looked like a man. And she learned to deftly imitate men's habits after serving 3.5 years for theft. The accomplices gave Katya and Lina a drink, adding sleeping pills to alcohol, and then took them out of town. The victim spent the next three years and seven months in a bunker that Mokov had equipped in advance on the site under his garage. No one heard the screams from the basement, six meters deep, concrete floors and iron hatches were doing their job, Mokic thought of everything. He dug the future prison for girls for three years, he took out several tons of earth, put electricity into the bunker and created a primitive ventilation system there. Mokic told his neighbors that he was equipping an ordinary cellar. Before caught young Lena, the rapist managed to test the bunker on another girl which after a couple of weeks managed to escape, the maniac simply forgot to lock the doors leading to the dungeon. His first victim decided to tell about what happened only after many years. Therefore, in 2000, Mokok was out of sight of the police. But after that escape, he became much more careful. Under the ground, the girls celebrated three New Years and three birthdays. Three times Lena became pregnant from a rapist. Katya gave birth twice, in the same basement. Meanwhile, the maniac's neighbors could not even imagine who actually lived next to them. He had an excellent reputation, he graduated from a technical school, served in the army, was a drummer in labor, the best locksmith in a factory and never had any problems with the law. And Katya and Lena, most likely, would have disappeared in the basement of the drummer, but a miracle helped. In May 2004 the girls were released, and the whole country was talking about their story. Victor Mokov's crimes were investigated by an investigation team, which included the tribe Botkin, an investigator known for solving a number of high-profile crimes in the Ryazan region. Under his leadership, the operational investigative groups were able to suppress the activities of the Slonovskaya, Arapatovskaya and Stepinskaya organized criminal groups, ARP. According to Plotkin, it was almost impossible for a random person to find the entrance to the maniac's cache. The girls were saved by the fact that the investigators, believing the note received from Lieutenant Mocket, decided to put pressure on him. But this did not succeed right away, when the maniac was first brought to the police and asked about the basement, he replied that there was nothing. When the operatives first examined the garage, under which the bunker was located, they shook out literally everything from it, but they never found the entrance to the dungeon. Some policemen even began to doubt whether they suspected him. But in the end, Mokok was still forced to confess, and he told how to get into the bunker. Investigators took Mokok to a show-off, put pressure on him. 
they said, we will demolish the garage, we will dig. And he said that the entrance is not from the inside, but from the outside. The garage is riveted from metal sheets, one of them is a door. To open it, you need to know where the special magnets are and pry off the sheet with a screwdriver. Further there was a manhole on the platform, a series of doors, hatches. In fact, it was necessary to crawl into the bunker. Ekaterina Martinova, recalling the terrible years in the bunker, is sure that Mokok was a mentally abnormal person, but the examination did not recognize him as such. According to investigator Plotkin, Mokok had problems in his early years, since childhood he Mokok lived under pressure, in an authoritarian family. The father is judged, molested a neighbor, the mother is an executive secretary, a domineering woman. Relations with the opposite sex did not work out for Mokok, there were no children. At the age of 50, he realized that life was passing him by, and considered himself flawed. As investigator Plotkin says, Mokok could not have a romantic relationship even in his youth. When everyone around him had girls, he was alone. Nevertheless, the comrades tried unsuccessfully to acquaint Victor with their former friends. And then Mokok read the story of how in Vyotskaya Polyony the maniac Alexander Komen set up a sewing production under his garage and kept slaves there, and decided to have his concubines. On August 30, 2005, Victor Mokok was sentenced to 17 years in prison. He was serving his sentence in a strict regime colony in the Saratov region. In general, because of such perverts, it is necessary to change the criminal code. Someone's lives are in danger. Perhaps these are the lives of our children. After all, right now you can expect anything from the maniac Mokok. What do you, viewers of our channel, think about this, write in the comments. And also, do not forget to share this video on your social networks. Press the subscribe button and the bell for new movie notifications. Please move on to other videos that you currently see in the end screensavers.